All right, good morning, class. What's up? What's up? Good morning, Mr. Coleman. Good morning, Mr. Coleman. Good morning, Mr. Coleman. Good morning, Mr. Coleman. How are you? How's everybody doing this morning? Great. Great. Okay, so we're going to start off, just get right into it. Did anybody want to read the objective? Students will make inferences based on text clues using the story, The Amigo Brothers. Hmm. Does anybody know what an inference is? Is an inference a prediction? Kind of, kind of. So the formula we're going to use to explain inferences is text details plus your knowledge equals inference. So I came up with a little general that I want you all to, to get in your mind while you're doing your work, okay? So just clap along with me. If you want to make an inference, take details from the text. Sprinkle in your knowledge and let your mind handle the rest. Okay, okay. ready? I want you to join it with me. If you want to make an inference, take details from the text. Sprinkle in your knowledge and let your mind handle the rest. All right, cool, cool, cool. That was dope. That was dope. Okay, now we're going to look at the Amigo Brothers. So the Amigo Brothers is a story about two friends that were forced to fight each other in a championship boxing match. Has anybody ever had to compete against one of their friends or close family members? Yeah, I compete all the time with my friends and my family. Right. Like we, all, this is what my family does. We always compete. Right. Yeah. Does anybody else compete? Did anybody? Yeah, I always compete with my little brother uh, playing basketball. Right. Right. See, I had a big brother, and we always played basketball too, and we always used to compete in just different things around the house, whether it be basketball or football, or whatever. Sometimes it wouldn't even be sports. Sometimes we would just compete just on anything. So I completely understand. So we're gonna go to this chart, and I want y'all to see how my chart resembles a lot like the equation, so you can just plug that in. So we're gonna go to the story, actually to lines 32 and 34, if you wanna read along with me. And lines 32 and 34 say, but even when joking with each other, they both sensed a wall rising between them. So I filled out my chart, and my knowledge said that I was competitive during youth sports, and that I can infer from lines 32 to 34, and my own knowledge that their friendship was strained through the wall based on the competitive, competitiveness of the boxing match. So what I want you all to do, I want you all to read independently for five minutes, and as you're reading, jot down little text details in lines one through 34, and then try to think of things in your own knowledge, in your own life, that you can compare to get a nice inference based on the text details, all right? And what all right, so as, I'm, as we're reading, yeah, so I have to think about myself right. and my own experiences while I'm reading the story. Right, so as you're reading the story, try to, try to look at the lines and try to think, hmm, like, have I ever been through this or has something similar ever happened to me? And then try to jot down little notes and then we'll talk about it in about five to 10 minutes. All right, cool, all right, cool. cool. Mm -hmm. Two and one. Okay, guys, after about five minutes, does anybody have any text details that really stuck out to them? Anything in lines 1 to 34? Yeah. Um, well, I saw on line 25, it said um, the difference was in their style. Antonio's lean form and long reach made him the better boxer, while Felix's short and muscular frame made him the better slugger. Whenever they had met in the ring for sparring sessions, it had always been hot and heavy. Okay, so what knowledge could you compare from those lines? So I know that sparring means practice, right. and it looks like they're practicing looking hard against each other, which is the same thing that me and my brother did when we played basketball together. Right, so what can you infer based on their intense sparring and how it prepared them for the fight? I can infer that if they're really practicing this hard together, then I can only imagine how hard they would go if they had to really mm -hmm. fight. Right, and I can also infer that how much effort they're actually putting into the training shows how devastated one would be if one lost. Mm -hmm. Does anybody else have any examples? Okay, um, I'm starting on line 6. Okay. And it says, they were so together in friendship that they felt themselves to be brothers. Antonio was fair, lean, and lanky, while Felix was dark, short, and husky. Antonio's hair was always falling over his eyes, while Felix wore his black hair in a natural Afro style. Okay. And what knowledge could you compare from those lines? Um, about being best friends with someone okay. who is completely different from you. Right. Okay, and what can you infer? Um, that no matter your differences, 
it's okay to still be best friends. Okay, cool. So we have some sort of examples based on the first 34 lines. So now what I want you to do independently is that I want you to read the rest of the story and then come up with five examples based on the text details and knowledge and then give you five inferences based on your five examples from the text. And I want you to remember, if you want to make an inference, take details from the text, sprinkle in your knowledge, and let your mind handle the rest. One more time. If you want to make an inference, take details from the text, sprinkle in your knowledge, and let your mind handle the rest.